today I'm giving my one week review of the Casio F94W. As a bonus, we're also going to open up this F94W along with the very similar F91W to see how different their internal modules really are. You'll also be given a chance to vote on what we unbox and wear as our next watch of the week, so stick around to the end. <laughs> First things first, I've nicknamed this watch the Casio Bumblebee, and it's pretty obvious why once you take a look at those yellow on black stripes. And in the true spirit of the Bumblebee, here's some adventures I went on with this watch. seven days with this watch now, I can honestly tell you that it's been one of my favourites to wear for watch of the week. It's light, it's comfortable, it's stylish, but most of all, I love this display. There is nothing cluttering up the digits and all of the symbols are neatly in one place. The tidiness of this display is really amplified by the unlit sections which don't leave anything behind. The only way to view them is to have an extreme viewing angle, but at normal operation you would never see these. The display of this watch is looking its absolute finest in 24 hour mode. As you can see, it completely fills up the left side of the display and looks very symmetrical. However, if you're in 12 hour mode, you will still get this benefit between 10 and 12 o'clock. Now the display of this watch is backlit, and I use the term backlit very loosely, but I did notice something quite interesting when using it at night. The backlight of the Casio Bumblebee actually bleeds through its signature yellow stripes. Now if I turn this off and compare that to the F91W, you'll see that no such bleeding occurs. But now speaking of being in the dark, what about the Sleepy Goat Alarm Test? Well, I am pleased to announce that this alarm is loud and it was enough to wake me up every day. In fact, you've got to hear this for yourself. And by the way, once this alarm starts going, there is no stopping it without hitting the right button of the three. So as you'll see, hitting this button does not turn it off. Neither does this button. The only way is the top left light button. So don't go thinking that you'll be sleeping in easy. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to ram that like button. And by the way, check out the damage on my subscribe button from all of you guys spam clicking it. Luckily, my wife has embroidered me a brand new one. How cool is that? And that reminds me, I really should have been wearing this the whole video. Ta-da! In our unboxing video for this watch, I did mention that in terms of lens design, I preferred the F91W because it was blue. But now that I've been wearing the F94 for a week, I have changed my mind. While blue remains my favourite colour, this is outweighed by the superior display of the Casio Bumblebee, and I actually much prefer wearing this watch now. And if you'd like to experience the gorgeous, clean display of the Casio Bumblebee, I will be leaving a link for you in the description below. The time has now come for us to open both of these two watches and take a look at the modules on the inside and see if there really is any difference. Just like that, gonna keep things nice and dust free. And then we also have this little watch pad. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice actually. So let's start with our watch of the week, the Casio Bumblebee, the F94W. There we go. Our gasket is out. 
Okay. And we're just going to pop this onto our new pad, but let's take a quick look. That's the module of the F94W. Face down on the pad, keep it nice and safe. So I can now see why the LED light was able to come through those yellow parts. See how it's really just a thin sort of part of the lens, so the light can really get through there. Moving right along to the F91W. Let's get this undone as well. So we'll just set that there. Remember which is which. Now check this out. You can actually see some of the little grains of sand that made it under the case back but didn't make it past the gasket from when I bought this to play beach volleyball a couple of times during our F91W Watch of the Week episode if you want to check that one out. Now we're just going to take out the gasket, so we'll get this one ready to go. Oh, uh-oh, that whole module just popped out there, but it looks to be all right. So let's compare this. So on the left, we have the F94W, and on the right, the F91W. The modules look eerily similar. The tape's a bit more transparent on the F91. Everything else is looking the same. Let's flip them over. There you go. So we can see the little circle pieces on this F94 there. Interesting. Those are the two inside cases for both the F94 and the F91. Now, just because we can, I want to try and see if these modules will fit in each other and then also see what it looks like on the other side. So we'll start by taking our F94 module with the little circle there and we're just going to carefully put this into our F91 housing. Okay, let's have a look at what that looks like. Wow, that's actually surprisingly clean. Overall, that looks really nice. We're going to put the F91 module just here inside the housing of the F94. And what do we have here? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. It's put the, the six from the date, today's the sixth, inside that little circle perfectly. That actually, it suits it. It looks like it belongs there. So this is the reversed modules, the F91 and the F94. Which one of these two do you think looks the coolest? Let me know in the comments below. All right, all right, let's put them back where they belong. Regrease this by giving it a few twists. See how the bottom of the gasket has those sort of lips that are going up there? So that's got to be on the underside. And have a look at how nice and juicy that gasket is from our gasket grease. Well, I've got both of our watches back to how they were. And FYI, these two new tools that we've learned about, this little um, module holding pad, as well as this little dustproof screw and module holder. I'm really happy with these. Um, I will be leaving links to these in the description below if you want to check them out or get one for yourself. If you enjoyed that cool little lens swap we did, make sure you ram that like button. But we are now back to normal. Now, here's the part where you come in. I have these two awesome watches and I don't know what to wear next for watch of the week. On the left, we have an awesome DW6900 in a transparent colorway, very cool. And on the right, we have a W219H in a cool blue colorway. So to cast your vote, head over to my profile, Goat Reviews, jump into the community tab, and there you'll see a poll where you can cast your vote for one of these two watches. One week after this video was published, I'm going to tally the results and we're going to have our new Watch of the Week. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so that you don't miss out when we publish our Watch of the Week that you voted for. And if you want to get recognised like Brian here, sign up to the GOAT crew. This can be done either through the Join button for YouTube membership below the video or by the Patreon link on screen now. I'm leaving you with our Watch of the Week playlist as well as another video that YouTube's handpicked just for you. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.